It's time for some packages from China. Time for more fun. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the Datafrog wireless controller for your PlayStation 4. This is what we call a knockoff version because it's exactly a one on one copy, or the shell at least is a copy of the original one. But then is the question how does it work? Is it any good? And how are the buttons feeling? So we're going to do a comparison side by side with the original one. Also got a blue version, so we can even compare the colors and uh, let's see, is it any good? Because it's freaking cheap. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. But before we are going to do a one-on-one -on -one comparison, let's well, take a close look at the controller itself. It's got all the functionality like the original one, it's got even the touchpad, share option, everything is really a one-on-one -on -one copy. I think this is a little bit different, but we're going to do a comparison. But and overall, the joysticks feel very nice. Nice D-pad. Everything feels really solid to this thing. So I'm very curious. Let's do a one-on-one -on -one comparison with the original one. And let's see if we can find any differences. If you have seen the sample video uh, or the little part when I do the music with the slideshow, you already noticed they did some changes with the buttons. The decals are totally different. If you look at the share and the option button, the left one is the fake one, the right one is the original one. And you see there is some little difference in the color of the name. So again, a small difference. And the home button doesn't have the PlayStation decal. And I'm guessing this is for due of copyright. Right, let's do a little comparison with the trigger buttons. This is the fake one. This is the original one. Do you hear it? Let's do it again. You hear that click? The original doesn't have it. The air on button. Hmm. This one sounds the same. Unlock stick. I must say, if you try this one, this one is slightly a little bit loose, looser than the original one. And the click is different. Alright, let's this one is more clicky. So as you can see, there are some differences. And I must say the original D-pad feels a little bit better. Got a I think let's how do I need to say this? A better push. I think this one is going to be way better if you want to play fighting games. So right, that's the side by side comparison with the original one and the fake one. Um, let's hook it up to the PlayStation 4, and I'm going to download the latest update and let's see what happens. The first game we are going to try out is Wipeout. I'm a big Wipeout fan. I played this game as a child. The first game I played was 2097, if I'm saying it correctly. It was really the first one that I played. I really love it. So back to the controller. Hmm, what do I think of it? I don't feel any delay or any problems. The joystick plays very nice. Rockets. Do a little bit of Lego Marvel. Yeah. 
So for the final conclusion about the Datafrog knockoff controller for the PlayStation 4. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, really. Um, it plays a little bit different if you compare it with the official product. There are some slightly differences, so if you've seen the full movie and the comparison, uh, I pointed out some differences and you can feel it when playing. But it is not a big problem. If you play it for a long time, it works just fine. Um, there are two things. First of all, I don't know how it's with the future with this controller. And how do you mean it with this? I mean it with updates. If Sony decides to do this and make an update and ban all of these controllers, you have a big problem. Or we have a big problem. So I don't know how is if this is a yeah, very good idea to buy and use this controller. So that is a little thing. And the second thing is it froze. I connected it to the PlayStation. Um, everything works, even the wake up modus works, but some way I have really no clue, out of the blue, it froze. So all the lights here and there on the th the pad was, was lighting up, but nothing was happening. So I needed to reset it. I just wanted to point out what happened. I didn't capture it because it was out of the blue. But there are things you need to consider. Um, I think it's not the same quality like an original controller, but yeah, for the money, we can't complain. So let me know what you think of this. Would you consider buying something uh, like this? And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell because you get notified for upcoming videos. And see you next time. Bye-bye.